you. Well, I'd love to take your car, and I'm actually bringing my fifth graders here on Friday, and the kids certainly loved you. I so. actually don't have a car, but you can just ask for me by name. It's fine. Oh, okay. Um, we'll take care. Thank you so much again. Sure, it was... Oh, guys, come on. <laughs> I love you, Miss Nina. I love okay. you, Miss Nina. You smell like my dad. What? There's sort of a template for um, getting a film made. I mean, there's, there's several templates, but one template is sort of going the route of applying to grants and labs. And when you're trying to get a film off the ground, you're trying every template, you know? And so, um, you know, initially just getting rejected, rejection, 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 you know how um, just like this, you know, it's, it's d depressing. <laughs> um, and so IFP was the first organization that sort of is established, that kind of validated the project um, and you know, as confident as myself and my producers were in the material, um, there was nothing like having, you know, the sort of uh, stamp of approval from an organization like that. So just from a confidence perspective, it was immense. It was immense. It was immense. Um, and then on a practical level, uh, you know, I'll never forget, they read a draft. Um, I think they read... Uh, the, the draft that I submitted that they read and gave notes on um, was the draft, it was sort of right before I'd just done a pretty major rewrite. Mm -hmm. And I'd made some like really major changes. And I remember speaking to Dan Schoenbrun, um at IFP and uh, you know he was giving me his notes and everything he said was something I just addressed in the rewrite. And it was like, and I hadn't shown it to anyone yet. So it was, it was just like, oh, I did the right thing. This was the right thing. I tell people, you know, when you're trying to do something like this, you really need kindling. You know, like every little stamp of approval is kindling and you're just trying to gather that. And it's funny because, you know, getting an IFP led to us um, being nominated for this award uh, at NYU called the Columbus Vega Award, which is a $100,000 um, grant to thesis films from, you know, this is my, th this is my thesis film from NYU. And, you know, that led to another NYU. And it was just like incrementally things just started building for us. But that, that was sort of the beginning of that. So, um, you know, it's important. Those, those programs are important on many levels. For me personally, I was never really comfortable in the short medium until like my, la my very last short. Um, I made shorts and music videos. Music videos always came kind of easy because I would, only, I would only make a video if I could see it clearly after hearing the song. It had to be very almost instant connection to the song. I can make it, you know, visually with, with the short narrative scripts. It's such a different kind of um, writing form than feature length scripts. There's nothing like making movies. So if you're making every, I learned, it, I learned how to direct making shorts. Um, I learned how to direct actors making shorts. I learned how to, you know, visualize and, and, and I learned how to compose shots making shorts um, and so and I still like making shorts you know um, especially now it's the way technology is uh, you know when I first started out using you know DVX and you got to digitize the tape and you know it was just pain in the behind but now, you know, being able to just plug in the camera, you know, plug in the memory card, <clears throat> upload the footage in, in, a, in a night, having everything on your hard drive, it's easy to make, it's much easier to make shorts. And I find it to be a lot of fun, particularly um, comedy stuff. You can be very irreverent. You don't really have to pay attention to story the way you do in narrative filmmaking. Um, so uh, in some ways it's freer. I'd never used Kickstarter before and um, you know, I, uh, we, we needed the money, um, but I also, I, more than the money, I looked at this as not, I didn't, I didn't want to cut a trailer for the movie um, because I'd nev I've never cut a trailer before and I think for this movie it's particularly a challenge to cut a trailer, so I wanted to kind of hand that off to, you know, someone who has some experience in that field, but I did want to do promotional material for it, um, and so I had this idea for a Kickstarter that I thought was funny. This actually is what got me back into the idea of doing like short viral stuff because I had so much fun making that Kickstarter video. Um, 
it was like the most fun I've had shooting something since uh, since shooting the movie. Um, and uh, so I, I looked at it as an opportunity to um, make a short piece of material that captured the tone of the film um, and served as promotion for the film while at simultaneously serving as a fundraising tool. Um, and, you know, it worked on both sides. You know, people like, all right, perfect example. Um, my sound designer texted me because he was ha ordering a burger, Greenpoint, and his waiter had seen his, had seen the Kickstarter. He'd gotten a conversation with her about, you know, this is what I'm, you know, they, they were talking. He said, I'm making this movie, New Louise. So I heard about that. I saw the Kickstarter. And they had no, they'd never met before in their lives.